Welcome to my in the bag here. It's been uh, long anticipated, but I feel like it's time now. Speaking of bags, I just got the new prototype from Ridge Roller. Nothing but good things to say about it. It's just incredibly well built. Uh, it's gonna last for years. There's actually this really cool splatter paint job that he did to the whole thing. And uh, when the sun hits it, it gets all kinds of colors through it. So let's jump right into what's in the bag here. We're gonna go from the green to the T here. So starting with my putters, we got the Steady Pro Series. Uh, from day one, this has been my go-to putter. And I don't see myself putting with anything else. So very happy with these two. Next, we'll go into the uh, the approach category here. The last time you guys saw me do uh, in the bag was back in maybe 2012. It was really my first introduction to the disc golf world. And I talked a lot about keeping it simple. As far as the lineup in your bag, it's only gonna help you play better. And eight years later, I still feel the same way. So I think it's really important to cover the spread with as few discs as possible. Um, so for my approaches, I have my overstable approach disc, which would be the breaker. Sidearms and backhand, this one's gonna fade pretty good for me. And then for the straight shots, I've got my swirly steady. It flies very similar to any D-line steady. It's just got a little more tackiness and stiffness to it, which I like. And then for any kind of turnover pop shots, I got my trusty glow fly. Many of you have seen me throw this and knows what it can do. It's a special one. So covering the spread from short range right there, left to right. And then I think it's just as important to do things that way with my mid ranges. So again, same as my approaches, three molds to cover the three basic shots as far as over stability would be my quake. This is one I can throw sidearm in back in as well. And then uh, my stable one for right in the middle would be this special blend aftershock. And then for any kind of turnovers or really smooth straight shots, uh, I have my squall here, tour series. These are the best ones I've thrown. Um, so this one's not going anywhere. So that's me covering the spread with my mids. And then we'll move right along into the fairway drivers. Again, I have my slightly overstable fairway driver which is the bonsai i absolutely love this disc it's by far my highest birdie percentage disc i pull it out and usually get a birdie so this one's pretty pretty tried and true for all last season and hopefully all of this season i also used it on all my island shots whether it was 250 feet or 370 if i had to make it onto an island i'd throw this even if i had to flex it to get it in there it was just bread and butter for me so really important disc for my bag and then I have the SP pipeline. This is strictly for straight shots where maybe I even need a little bit of fade. That's not gonna hurt me too much. I can really throw this one straight at the pin and, and it stays close even with the fade. So really important one there. Um, I would never try and turn this disc over. It doesn't really seem to like that, which is uh, why I have my Proline pipeline. This one just loves to turn over and glide out towards the pin. Uh, it's been one of my best discs in the woods and uh, hopefully this will continue to help me win tournaments this season. One of my favorites ever right there. So I also have a couple other fairway drivers that are, you can call them utility or sidearms uh, strictly. Um, somebody, Chris Eads gave me this old Tsunami from the 08 Masters Cup and I used it on all my sidearms last season. Uh, inside 350. Just outside of this, uh, I don't really try and push this one too hard because it doesn't have a ton of stability. Um, anything outside of 350 but short of driver range, I'm pulling out my Hellfire. And this is one I can really crank on, whether it's sidearm or backhand. Um, and these two have been really good to me all season long. So that's about it for fairways. Now we're going into the the uh, high speed long range drivers which i don't carry a ton of them there's kind of a theme here as far as having an overstable a stable one right in the middle and then an understable slightly overstable got the sp line hurricane uh this one i've thrown all year and it hasn't really gotten too beat up mainly because i only go for it when it's wide open 
and I don't need to turn it over at all. Mainly just let the stability work for me on this one. This is the one right in the middle where I don't have to worry about it flipping over too much or fading out too much. I can just go straight at the pin with it usually and get a little bit of turn and then it finishes right back in the middle. And then uh, in the woods such as Delaware and other long tunnel shots where I need maximum distance, I've got my fully seasoned SP Hurricane. This is one I can throw with hyzer flip and get it to ride straight with minimal fade, minimal turn. And uh, this is the reason I won that big one back in August back in Delaware, right here. Fully seasoned SP Hurricane. I don't really carry too many other discs for backups maybe. I have, when in really windy situations, I have my Flex Hurricane, it's just nasty, overstable. And then uh, SP Quake for close approaches when you know the wind's pushing over 20 miles an hour. Uh, I reach for these guys, as well as a slightly more stable SP Hurricane. One of the funnest shots to throw in disc golf is the roller. And right here I've got my very old Pro-Line Rogue that Sarah Hokum gave to me back when she was throwing a mixed bag. And uh, I've thrown some of my best rollers of my career in the past season with this disc right here. So hoping it stays in my bag for a long time and continues to do great things on the ground for me. And uh, I think that's about it. You know, a lot of you might be wondering, do you really need all these discs? Do I really need all these discs? Well, the answer is yes. And uh, actually, in addition to these, I travel with anywhere from 50 to 60 additional discs because sometimes I play 100 different courses in a season and maybe I don't quite have all the discs in my spread in my bag. So sometimes I do have to reach for backups that fly different for whole specific purposes or or maybe there's water shots and I don't want to lose one of my favorites. So I, I do carry a number of additional discs. And if you like any of the ones you saw and you want to pick them up, uh, you can go to discgolf.com. And that's another place where you can follow me. I do have a profile on there along with my other social media accounts. Well, thanks for watching and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys out there in 2020.